I think first and foremost, the thing that you should know about Sydney is the fact that she is incredibly warm-hearted. Um, I think all educators are, but with Sydney, it's the first thing that you notice. Sydney understands the importance of relationship building and getting to know her kids. She works with some of our challenging students, is very patient with them, uh, takes her time in making sure that all of their needs are met, and also pushes them to make sure that they excel at what they're working at. So I've had an opportunity to work with Sydney this year with one of our most challenging students. Sydney knows from the moment this student walks in the door to the moment he walks out the door exactly what he needs from breakfast to a comb to a hug to getting work done. She will ask questions, the right questions, when she doesn't know something. She will research on her own time different things, different disabilities that students have so that she can better educate them. So I really love working with the students here. I learn so much from them and they, I'm so proud of everything that they're able to accomplish despite everything they go through. I don't necessarily know if there's like a secret recipe. I just approach each student with kindness and I feel like kindness goes a long way and these aren't overnight changes. It takes patience, it takes trust, there needs to be a trust established, and I think at the end of the day they know I'm there for them. Last year, Sydney came to me and asked if we could start a cheer team. Um, it's never something we've had at Two Rivers. Uh, typically we have more boys than girls anyway, so we didn't really know if we would have enough interest, but she got these girls working and performing routines. Uh, last year before COVID, they performed at games. And this year, even during the pandemic, they were able to compete in and win a virtual competition. Um, and it's just given the girls just so much more engagement in school and proud of what they've accomplished. I was in gym class one day with another paraeducator, Ms. Logan, and we were discussing the amount of fighting that we were seeing in the hallways each day, and it was almost always amongst girls. So we wanted to give them something that would allow them to support each other instead of tearing each other apart. And I think that's what the cheer team has been able to do. Working with Sydney for the past three years to develop our cheer team has been phenomenal. She teaches our ladies that through hard work, dedication, and most importantly, unity, the sky is no longer the limit. Oh, so this year we won first place in the competition. It was a really fun experience and it was very empowering because we kept pushing even when things tried to stop us. And through all of it, she was always there to like let us know that we got this no matter what, and we'll always be a sisterhood, we'll always be together. When you need help, you can just always count on Ms. Fernandez. You can always go to her if you need anything other than cheer. She always has your back and she's always there for you. So Sydney's a little bit unique um, to the paraeducator world. Um, she is a full-time law student in addition to her paraeducator role, and you would never know that because she puts her full passion into this position. I thought it was really important for me to work here and engage with these students so I could see, like on the ground floor, what they were going through, like emotionally, um, socially. I think this is just going to make me a more empathetic and caring lawyer. When Ms. Fernandez started this cheer club, it really helped all the girls in the school. Thank, Thank you, you Ms. Fernandez. Fernandez. I think Ms. Fernandez helped me in middle school to get to high school and prepare me because she helped me very well. Thank you for always pushing us and helping us be better at what we do and at ourselves. In terms of my student, I would not have been able to be as successful as I was um, if it were not for Sarah Seals, his case manager, or Jocelyn Nelson, the social worker, because they really helped support his emotional and social needs, and I learned so much from them. And cheerleading, you know, that was really important that I worked with Vanessa Logan. She brings such an energy and light to the team, and I think it's also important to show the girls that, you know, you can't do everything on your own. And we show that, we work together. So in all this work, I think it's important to support each other. And you know, the kids see that, right? You have to be collaborative and work together. Congratulations, Ms. Fernandez! <laughs>